Saturday morning at the cafe. This day, if you actually count the Saturday mornings you have left in your life, it will scare you. You know, actually count four to a month, and how many months, and how many more useful years you have left in your life. It will scare you, but it should also wake you up to realizing how short and fragile and unpredictable life is. I know, uh, I know a girl, uh, uh, lady. She's a um, just an acquaintance I, I met recently, you know, just just a friend, and uh, she was telling me that uh, she was from Bulgaria. She was telling me that she works at one of these love hotels, you know, these hotels where people go with either their lover or the or a paid woman to uh, you know have a little fun and leave. Usually, just you know, short stay hotel. They call them love hotels. They're all over. Japan and other countries this one happens to be in Greece she was telling me that strangely enough the most popular hour is from 9 in the morning yes you're hearing me correctly 9 in the morning until 1 in the afternoon and instead after that it's sporadic but from 9 to 1 it's the busiest time and she was telling me you'd be surprised how often they get a client if you will but the interesting part it was to me uh, she said you know they make pretty good money and they make uh, better money than me because I have to pay taxes and obviously they don't because whatever they earn it's under the table but the interesting part was that she said I see how many times you know for example a particular one comes here and you know this is just one love hotel there are other ones you know around that they go to so I see only the ones that come even a particular one I see the one that comes to my hotel with a particular client and she said it's a quite a number of times a day every day seven days a week and she said as many times as they catch a client as many times as they uh, you know are successful they are broke broke to a point she said that they have to borrow money from me to buy cigarettes now go figure how does that work I remember when I was uh, <clears throat> younger with my uh, friends we would go to strip, strip joints you know and uh, you know watch the girls strip and everything they're becoming harder and harder to find and they're becoming trash you know you see girls there that are just not worth even looking at they're covered in tattoos and piercings and it's just not the same scene anymore but that's another story for another time what i wanted to say is that uh, we talked to these girls now this is in the states and some of them were boasting making 1200 1500 a day and i knew they were not lying because i could see people paying for them to sit on their lap and and talk and whatever and uh, same story same story they were broke they were broke to a point where they didn't know how to pay their rent in a shared room that they had with their other girlfriends. I honestly don't know uh, how to uh, decipher that, but I did read a book. Uh, sadly, the name of it escapes me, but uh, there was a principle that uh, in that book was taught that is very helpful to all of us, all of us. Whatever money you make, whatever it is, whatever it is, and how little that you think that it is, don't forget to pay yourself first. I know it sounds funny, but you get your paycheck or you get your money from whatever source of work that you do. And uh, you pay the bills you have, you pay the electricity, you pay the rent, you pay the car payment, you pay the insurance, you pay food, whatever. The trick is, when you first get your hands on money, put away at least 10% of it. No matter how much you think you can't afford it, no matter how much you think that what you have is already even short to pay the bills, take away that 10%. If you get $2,000, put $200 away. Imagine it's not yours. Imagine you don't have it. Put it away and save it away in some place, obviously in, a, in, a, in an investment uh, sort of a of an account you know 
and you will see what a magical difference that will make in your life at the end of the month, end of the year, end of two years, whatever. That will be your little piggy bank. And that piggy bank can grow very rapidly depending on what your earnings is. But try that trick. I thought I shared that story with you because I honestly found it interesting that these girls making the money that they do without having to pay tax in both cases that I told you yet still penniless and struggling to make their regular uh, meet their regular you know obligations all the best signing out from uh, Athens Greece lots of love to you all